Oggi siamo sul Lago Maggiore, a bordo dell'Absolute 43 Fly. Today we are on Lake Maggiore, aboard the Absolute 43 Fly. Sailing on the water is completely different from any driving experience on the mainland. There are no paths to follow. Well, that's not always true. The seabed may hold some surprises, sometimes pleasant, such as a wreck to explore, a school of fish, sometimes unpleasant, as for example, a submerged rock. Come forse avrete capito, oggi parleremo di strumentazione. As you may have understood, today we will talk about instrumentation. We will look at two Raymarine products for navigation and safety. We start from this display called Axiom. It is available in 7, 9 and 12.1 inch versions. But what is really impressive is the operating system. It uses a quad-core processor. Fast, you are seeing the speed with which the image is zoomed. E poi la mappa and then the map runs smoothly and without interruption, with no discontinuities. It uses a GLONASS GPS receiver of 10 Hz and 72 channels. You can choose the digital cartography you prefer. It works with all of them. Il sistema operativo è Lighthouse 3, facilissimo. The operating system is Lighthouse 3, easy to use. From the home screen we can choose the different views, the maps, or the camera, or even the sea bottom with the fish finder. Ovviamente ci sono infinite possibilità di personalizzazione e guardate quanto è facile. Basta aprire il menu, selezionare le impostazioni. Obviously, there are endless possibilities of customization and look how easy it is. Just open the menu, select the settings, edit them and, for example, this data, the depth, I would like to see, let's say, at this point on the screen or other given is the temperature of the water. I don't care about that, but I would like to know how fast we're going. So, let's look for that. Here it is. 3,8, sì, però... 3.8 knots, yes, but I have some vision problems, so let's enlarge this figure, huh? so we can see it well even from afar. The Raymarine Axiom connects via Wi-Fi with your smartphone, where you can record all the navigation data, just as we are doing now. Adesso viene il bello. Now comes the fun part. The fact is that, let's face it, the echo sound of vision is almost near very clear. It's very necessary to make sure that it was understood by all and Raymarine seems to have accomplished that. Questa è l'immagine classica del fondale attraverso la quale è possibile individuare i pesci. This is the classic image of the sea floor, from which it is possible to locate the fish. This is the reconstruction of the sea floor, and here we have the three-dimensional image so that we can move, rotate, to better examine the structure. We can also look at it from different points of view. Per ottenere un'immagine tridimensionale così nitida è necessario... To get such a sharp three-dimensional image, it is necessary that the electronic eye, let's call it, is perfectly stable, but a boat pitches, it rolls, it's never immobile. So Raymarine invented the electronic gyroscope that stabilizes the image. L'immagine dell'eco scandaglio... The image of the echo sounder is so sharp because it uses Kirk technology, that is, not one or two frequencies, but a series of frequencies, a range. La tecnologia ci permette This technology allows us to see what we cannot see underwater and in the dark. Tenete presente che queste apparecchiature funzionano indipendentemente. Keep in mind that these devices work independently of light and we are using them in the day exactly to show you what they are taking in and what is being seen on our regular cameras. Lo strumento più utilizzato dalle navi e dagli yacht. The most used instrument for ships and yachts to detect obstacles at sea is the radar. But the image is not so clear. It must be interpreted. La termocamera rileva la temperatura. The camera detects the temperature of the objects and people, the coast, the water, and transforms it into an image. 
Raymarine dichiara che questo sistema è in grado di individuare Raymarine states that this system can detect a person in the water up to 450 meters away and in a small boat up to 0.67 miles, about 1200 meters. But then what do we call this object in here in the sky? Is it the moon? Facciamo una prova. State navigando sulla mappa non ci sono scale. Let's try. You are sailing. There are no obstacles on the map, but suddenly a boat is in front of our route. Eccola. L'ha individuata, la Here it is. It has been identified. It has been reported, even with an alarm. Now we can avoid it. These marine thermal cameras are based on the Fleur Bossum thermographic core with integrated multi-core video processor. It offers images with a resolution of 320 by 240 pixels. There are two models of Raymarine thermal imaging cameras. The M132 that is adjustable vertically to compensate for the angle of the incidence of the hull and the M232 which in addition to being adjustable vertically can also rotate 360 degrees. Queste termocamere, capaci di vedere anche di giorno e di segnalare un eventuale pericolo, hanno ricevuto un importante riconoscimento. These marine thermal cameras, able to see during the day and report any danger, have received a major award, the Innovation Award, awarded to products that best represent the technological innovation. And even, in my small way, I would give it a prize because it's a useful tool for safety.